episode's gonna happen, yes. Make sure you share it with your friends. Come on, players. Come on, players, help me, help my brother out. <laughs>all right let's get right into it because we do have a lot of customs to discuss fantastic work from all the customizers submitting their work to episode three of this week in customs let's begin with the fan vote winner ace outlaw customs with this amazing looking hellboy congratulations the fans voted your custom as the top pick for episode two so let's get into it with episode three josh aristoza double flip customs this guy does uh, just amazing work. His electro. He's done electros before. I really like the paint scheme. The the color greens. The hues that he's chosen here. Love the airbrush work. Masterful job of uh, picture taking. Absolutely love the the uh, sculpted bits on this custom and just love his work. <laughs> oh, hot as fuzz customs with a strong entry in episode three. Holy goodness, I know this is from some video game that I never played, but dude, is that, a, is that an LED light in there? I, I wanna say that it is, because he does take darker pictures to uh, show that off, and it's just a really cool looking uh, custom. Uh, I don't have to know the character to recognize it's a very cool piece. Love it on my shelf. Go ahead and send it to me, I'll take it. All right, moving on to Brimstone Ghost Customs right here. Who is this dude? Uh, Ni you guys go ahead and pronounce that, okay? Nyarlathotep, the Black Pharaoh. So he's got a lot of cool looking, He's I, I, I like his style. I've noticed that in his recent customs, he's doing a lot of this cloth, cloth goods mixed with the plastic mediums. Uh, it's definitely not Mesco style. Oh my gosh, check out that back piece right there. That's really cool. What the, oh my gosh, this is scary. All right, thank goodness this is for, you know, you know, it's a show for adults, you know what I'm saying? YouTube, Copa, you know what I'm saying? It's for adults. Scary stuff right here. Wings Custom with a Nightcrawler right here. Love the effects. Love those Banff effects. Now, I don't know if you clear casted some of this and then you painted it yourself or you picked that up from somewhere. Uh, please let us know. Let me see, some people are asking you. Let me see what you say. You can grab the effects on Amazon? Really? Those effects work so perfect. But let's talk about your custom. This is definitely a different uniform for Nightcrawler. And uh, you guys are know, you comic book nerds will know where that's from. But definitely a cool look. And the, the, the posing and the display looks awesome. Thank you for sharing. Weapon X Customs with a really nice, nice looking, uh, of course, a Dakin. I forgot his name uh, momentarily because he didn't have a third claw. And in the third claw, you know, actually, actually, uh, good entry. Uh, that was a joke. Uh, moving on to Uncanny Customs right here with Darth Maul. This is after he was sliced in half. And if you did not see the Clone Wars, I highly recommend it. Uncanny Customs, thank you. Wise use of parts right here really works well. You did a great job of painting the body, those tattoos. Uh, those are not easy things to get on there, but I definitely appreciate that custom. And we're going on Candy Customs with the second one right here. This Bane is nice. I like it. I dig it. Who doesn't like Bane in their custom action figure shelves? Come on, players. Here we go. Captain Snick. We are moving through here because I got a ton of customs. I want to spend some time discussing this. I think he's using the Doom body. I'm pretty certain he's used the Doom body with some soft good. I dig it, dude. It looks good. Black, this is a ton better than the original release from, actually, there's been two releases, but you know what I mean. I like the soft goods on it. I like the Doom body. Good work. One Oak Customs. This is an oldie, not, not an oldie custom, but an oldie builder figure that he is, dude, I love that look of the leather right there on the skirt and the cape on him. Makes the figure, look at that, just dynamic looking. I think there's a place for soft goods on some of these figures. I know some of you guys that watch, like my buddy Joey hates it on most figures, using his word. But, all right, we need to move on. I think I think there's a place for capes and soft goods in Marvel Legend collecting. The Venom Who Laughs with a pretty cool looking Deathstroke right here. It looks like he's using, 
Is that the Mesco? That's a Mesco head, some Marvel Legend parts. I like the the armor bits right there. I think you did a good job of weathering that one up. And okay, <laughs> so Medias 0220. This is a self-portrait Mythic Legion entry into episode three of This Week in Customs. And you will see what I mean. Come on, man. That is perfection. Good job. Uh, you could, man, you could even do a little bit, uh, you could add a little bit more paint to make that face even more realistic. But dude, the sculpting on point, you nailed your look. I, I need a Brock Custom. I need a Brock Custom. And yeah, this is becoming, I, you guys hear me talk about Stu's Customs all the time right here. He, he is a master. Uh, face Customs is a master craftsman he obviously he can do all sorts of different customs but he specializes in these females because this well the people are paying him for commissions man they're paying him to do these amazing looking female figures the paints on the money everything about that uh screams the character and i just ad nauseum i'm going to say the same things because every single time he puts something out it's so nice one oak customs is this like your third one on here or the names running in together for me. The Swarm. Dude. It looks fantastic. And he's saying he was inspired by Craig Warwick. Who is the master customizer in my opinion. He's my favorite customizer of all time. And he did one that is off the hook. But we're looking at yours right now. And man. Great job. I think the yellow and the purple. Go so well. You chose to use a soft good cape right there. I think it was wise for this character. And I, I think it's wise for all the characters. That's going to be the theme, soft goods. I'm going to convince you guys if you don't like your soft good capes. I love soft good capes. And the, all the little details, that had to have taken you forever. Unless, I don't know, you just put glue and you rolled them in whatever you did. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but dude, I like it. It looks fantastic. Thank you for hashtagging This Week in Customs. And by the way, if you want to be on the show... You tag this week in customs just like it's vintage did right there on this wonderful dead shot. Uh, very unique looking head. I think he just manufactured it a bit. And I love seeing creativity like this. It's not your typical uh, dead shot, your classic dead shot or whatever. But he was able to capture the essence of the character right there. And this dude looks like the guy. What's the actor's name? He was in Narcos and he plays the Mandalorian. Does that head not look like the Mandalorian, dude? <laughs> Come on. That looks like a cartoony version. What head sculpt is that? Because that could be a great head sculpt, unmasked Mandalorian. Here's another uh, head sculpt that he's using. But I, I think I like that one. <laughs> Maybe it's that mustache. That makes me think of the Mandalorian. Uh, what is his name? Oh gosh, he's a really. I love that actor. I, I'm, his name is. Uh, I'm being. I can't remember. All right. So Dallas James here. He actually has a tutorial, and I just want to send you. We're not going to watch the whole thing here, but he geared up this modif He modified the uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider that just came out, and he takes it apart and he adds LEDs. Let me just get to the final product so you guys can take a look. Bro, just a little bit of LED work. Go check out his page. He tells you exactly what he used and that makes that figure. It takes that figure to a whole nother level. Oh my goodness, hold on. Let me just, just be quiet and let you guys enjoy it. Dude, the head, the lights, the wheel part is on fire, man. That is great and it's, uh, he used uh, a multi-colored light, LED lights, to get that done. All right, this is a throwback custom Luanadens, and I've been doing that uh, for season two. I, I will be doing that in each episode, do a throwback custom. This is actually, I don't know if this ever made it into This Week in Customs, because this is an older custom that he put out. But man, Rhino, it, it, great. It looks fantastic. Let me see if he's got another one. He used that Marvel Select body that a lot of people have used for a bunch of different geared up, armored up, big, huge uh, characters. And man, it is a great looking custom. Love the horns. I, I, that may be an elephant tusk that he used on there. I don't know the, his parts, but it's a cool looking custom and I wanted to show it to you. All right, Max Hill, we uh, saw the work in progress and I wanted to show you guys the finished custom of his Super Scroll. The... So if you guys, I, I love seeing the progression of stuff and some of the choices that you make. 
Whereas a one customizer can start with the same idea of a character, another customizer using the same character, but they turn out completely different. I'm looking forward to seeing some other Super Scrolls. Good job in putting that out. Mescopolis, as you guys know, he showcases Chinese artists. This is going to be a uh, merciless Batman. We saw Draw Custom do an amazing one a long time ago. A long time ago. Just a few weeks ago, okay, players? Uh, I showcased it on one of the episodes or a couple of the episodes. This is going to be different because this guy kit bashed it together. So you can see the different approaches that customizers take. He is using a DC Ares as the base, as, as far as that I can tell. He may have gotten that from the statue. I don't know, but the custom looks fantastic. Whereas Draw Customs, his thing was amazing. He sculpted a lot of bits. Well, guess what? If you guys don't have that skill level, and I'm not saying that this customizer doesn't. I'm just showing the difference between uh, sculpting and this guy is kit bashing. Dude, this is an amazing looking piece. Am I right? Man, there's different ways of achieving a custom that you want to get. Here we're taking a look at a team, a team that is uh, Star Wars. Dude, I know, I got to calm down, right? I gotta, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. I enjoy customs, guys. I got to admit, I love looking at customs. I love talking about customs. I love talking about Marvel Legends. This is just something I just love talking about the 112 figures, man. And this team is beautiful. That is an awesome job by Tosh Customs. Thank you for sharing it with the rest of us. Here's another uh, Chinese customizer. What's this Chinese customizer's name? Oh, Big Wolf. We featured one of his other customs, uh, I, th I believe it was last week. I'm forgetting what it was, but look at the Venom. Look at the details on this Venom. And did you notice all the pits in the background? <laughs> did you notice all the pits in the background? I think he's done, has he done this Venom on a pit? I love these, whatever these, I'm not sure if it's a spawn or other babies that he's produced. I don't know what the heck those are, but I, all I know is that it looks awesome. It's actually reminding me of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Do you guys remember that show? Um, what, what is it? Feed me. Feed me. Feed me now. I forget what the, you guys know what I'm talking about. But that is, that is the pit. Look at that compared to that Spider Hulk. Oh my gosh, that is a monster Venom if I've ever seen one. I'm spending a lot of time because there's a lot of details. He's got a lot of pictures. And it looks like those were kind of accessories. How, how did he take it off? Or is that just a progression shot? I don't know, but that was awesome. Thanks, Big Wolf, for letting him use your pictures. Bird Skip... No. Bird Sky Productions. I got it. Woo! With a Guido right here. Yeah. Strong guy. Dig it, like his interpretation. I love this uniform. Obviously, Hasbro is going to be giving us the other uniform. So, man, yeah, so many options, so many cool customs this week. Here's S and said S and S and Customs, S and Customs with a Nightcrawler Rogue, a mix of characters. Pretty cool. Love it. Struggled with the name. Apologize for that. Figure this customs with one of my favorite characters of all time, his interpretation. When I was a kid, I watched He-Man. Matter of fact, I think the first Halloween I dressed up as He-Man. And he's doing Triclops here. Yeah, man. Cool, cool looking Triclops. I think this may be the first or I, I have only showed a few Motu customs done. Please share them with us. That is an awesome looking one. All right, Marvel Legends ladies. Showcase, is this, did you do this or did somebody else do this? Somebody else did this because I think you, I think, I think you get customs. I think you, you're, you're, you commission customs. This is a really cool looking um, storm. And it's that uniform right here. It almost looks like the Toys R Us. It almost looks like the Toys R Us release. Or is that the, I, I don't know. I, I started collecting after that, but that's a cool looking storm. Thanks for sharing. Now, Figure Finesse, we looked at the head last week, and this is the full and complete custom, and that looks fantastic. That is a cool piece. Throwback for any of you that played uh, Super Mario Brothers, and you know if you're old like me, you played the original players, but yeah, man, he's got 
Um, he's got him geared up with a toolbox. I love the attention to details. Love that little mushroom that you have on him. Uh, the overalls are great. The soft goods work so great with this figure. Dig it. Thanks for sharing. All right, moving on. Crob the Creator. I think we saw the head that he was working on. Now it looks like he's using the Sasquatch uh, body to do Ursa Major. And Ursa Major in the comics has been drawn with a thinner body like this and with a thicker body. Uh, customizers I've seen, uh, Masterpiece Customs. I saw Chris Serta. Uh, he did one that was the thicker body. I think he may you have used the blob build the figure. But there you have this. In, uh, this customizer took it. Uh, it's his representation of the character that he liked, and I appreciate uh, you guys sharing. And please share this with one nerd friend. Let's spread the word. This week in customs is back in 2020. Let's get a lot of people watching it. I think we're up to like 3,000 views per episode. We'll get some more steam. Get some more views and get you guys some more exposure. Victor Alva with this Joker, and I think he's pieced this together from a bunch of different, uh, I, I, maybe not a bunch of different figures, but it's definitely a smaller, I, I, and I, I would almost say it's a Toy Biz, but is, is it a Toy Biz body? Because the hips don't seem like they're Toy Biz. It looks like he's done a lot of sculpting, and that head, where's that head from? I feel like I've seen it on a figure before, or maybe you just, you custom it yourself. It would be helpful if you guys gave me, threw me some bones. That way I can talk about your custom because sometimes I'm just not going to know where you're getting the parts. But that was a pretty cool look. All right, Transformer fans, this is going to be Tin Rocket Customs. He did this one a, long, a while ago. He says, I have never seen it before, but it's Cybertron. And there you have it. Dude, how, how big is that? Because is that... Because you have that... Uh, and of course, I don't know why I'm forgetting. It's been a while since uh, I've I've even messed around with my transform, and I do collect transformers. What's that bad guy's name? <laughs> I don't know what the scale is. So no, it's got to be small. It looks like he's customized. What is that? Car I know T Man. If he's even wa if he watches this, he's going. He's going to be shaking his head. Come on, player. I can't get that guy. The bad guy's name. He eats planets, and he was going to uh, take out Cybertron. All right. Moving on to Vico Selvando Art right here with a Venom, and he did it on the Caliban body. So he transformed that Build-A-Figure to his Venom. Good work on that. Uh, you, It looks really nice, bro. Right here, Goose Chosen One. Alpha Flight Wolverine uh, paints are really nice. I like the blending there. Right there, the line in the blending. I don't mean blending. I mean the sharp contrast, the opposite of blending, of the red and the white. The whites came out really bright, really good looking, uh, well applied colors on this custom. And yeah, I dig it. Oh, cool. Got some interchangeable heads right there. Nice job, man. I think that may be the first custom that I've seen you do. And for those of you that think I hate predators, I don't. This thing is better than any predator I've seen. I like the color schemes on this. And I think that's what he's done, right? He says he's a little rusty in painting the skin, but I, I, I like the, the flesh for Predator, the way it came out for it right there. Yeah, really nice, nice work and paints. It looks like you did that all by hand too. And you were very meticulous in painting those details. DWRX Dave doing a Filipino. A little Filipino... Wait a second. Wait a second. Is this a Filipino character? Or did you just say Filipino because you're Filipino? I'm confused. Uh, I'm confused. But this is Red Feather. And there you have it. I, I, I don't know what to say now. I, I'm kind of stuck. I'm just going to move on before I say something. I'm not supposed to an offensive. It's not supposed to be offensive. It's supposed to showcase. But I thought that was supposed to be a Filipino character. Can... My Filipino, Mabute Lolo, Mabute Lolo Po, help me, my friend. Pare, pare, help me. Help me in the comments. Tell me about that. All right, when Zilla did a repaint right here, you can see where he takes the base. I have no idea who that is. It's some sort of Power Ranger. Apparently, it looks like it could be a Power Ranger. Anyway, or, or Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know this uh, franchise. But anyways, you can see where the deeper colors definitely bring out the details. He's done uh, he's, he's done a complete repaint, and I think it looks good, man. 
All right, figure Kong with a buffed out Nightwing. This is Mesco style. I dig it. I like the head that you chose for the character. And uh, yeah, man, uh, who is the, what body is underneath that? Because that is, a th I've never seen Nightwing so thick. This is Nightwing on steroids. This is a Nightwing that no, no Batman can take. This is the, the master, the teacher. Wow. And speaking of buff uh, characters, here's uh, James Roseborough's uh, version of Hercules. He's, uh, see just a little bit of accessories. It looks like that may be an old Thor body, unless you sculpted those thighs. I think that may be the older Thor. It looks like it could be. And, uh, and is, that a, is that a Wolverine head? But it works well for, for Hercules, man. Um, what was that character? I uh, had that character, the actor that played Hercules. In the, in the movie. He also played Hulk in the one of the first Hulk movies. That character. It looks like that character. Chinito Hipocrito. Modular Mark 85 right here. Uh, very interesting paint job. I don't know. Like, let me see. Did he? He says he painted some by hand and probably some by airbrush. But there you have Iron Man. I don't know the different armors. There's so many of them, it's hard to find out. Shroud Savage right here with his version of... Uh, oh my gosh. See, I'm, I'm going to roll right now. And I'm I'm just stepping on myself right now. Not Storm Shadow. What's this character saying? Dude, there's one every single week. Snake Eyes. Golly. Golly. I'm moving on. All right, Bishop Toy Works. This is a work in progress I want to show you. He's doing... Uh, dude, what... What is this alien thing? Is that what we're going for? He's using, I think he's using a dinosaur and he's making it look like an, a character, an alien. The Brood King. Yeah, so this is going to be alien, right? And it looks like he's done some work to the teeth, the upper teeth. But this is a work in progress. We'll see where he finishes up. Doro Monstacado right here with a beast head repaint. Look at the eyes on that. Really good job on the eyes. He's got the white spot where he needs to be. It's a really good job of painting that head. And I can't wait. Chimera Concepts Customs. Oh boy. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm... It's one of my favorite figures in my collection. DC figures anyway. I don't know if I'm going to be able to look at it the same way ever again after seeing what you're working on here. That is going to be a masterpiece custom. And holy... Holy, look at this head right here. Christina, I can't wait to see the finished product. Uh, that's already looking fire. And speaking of fire, Demonic Poo Creations. Now, you guys have seen the head all the way on the right. I've talked about it. I have it. Uh, he sent it to me. It's, a, it's unbelievable. I didn't think it could get any better. But look at the head all the way on the left. Let me get there. And I want you guys to see this thing. Look at this thing. It looks like he's gotten a fight with a possibly Wolverine right there. He's got chunks of his flesh. He's got, what is that, a boil coming out? I, I don't know. But look at the expression on this. This thing is so off the hook. And I think he's selling it, guys. I, I don't know. You're going to have to contact him. Uh, this is definitely an unpaid advertisement. He's not paying me to tell you this. But I'm just, I'm super impressed with this head sculpt. This is one of the best head sculpts I've ever seen that somebody's made. And it's specifically for this Hulk character, uh, it's called what, the Immortal Hulk, or I forget what. Yeah, uh, Dale Kewen's run and Joe Bennett. Yeah, man, man. Can I say any more? Can I say any more? Uh, Stranded Customs. Doing a Black Tom Cassidy right here. I haven't seen a Black Tom custom in a really long time. I love the face. He, I think he, I think that's a Craven face that he that he uh, modded to have here, and I think it works well for Black Tom Cassidy. He's got all these other heads. Yeah, good work, man. Thanks for sharing. And uh, I know these are for sale. And I just want. I picked up. I picked up that Doom. And I had been waiting. I had been waiting for the Mr. Sinister Cape to come back in stock. Scotticus Customs, if you're interested in getting any of those capes, he's got a bunch of other stuff on there. But I wanted to highlight specifically that Mr. Sinister. 
that is one of the best cool effect capes and it's meticulous because it's got wired every single strap is wired and if you go back and some of the artwork mr sinister's cape is drawn like this and the ability to post this thing for you acba guys th this is a must in my opinion go hit him up unpaid advertisement right there all right folks that is the end head on oh, oh i did it again i gotta pick the top five gosh let's go top five all right, the first one up for the fan vote is going to be Figure Finesser's Mario. Let me see if you get the full effect right there. Okay, the second one is going to be One Oak Customs. I almost called it Hive. Uh, Swarm. Uh, do I have those mixed up or are they the same thing? Swarm and Hive. We're going to go with Swarmy. That's what he's calling it. Number three is going to be this character. I think he's calling it Big Daddy? Is it? No. Rapture? Who is this from Bioshock 2? I'm going to call it the Bioshock character from Hottest Fuzz Customs. Then we have Josh Arizona's aka Double Thwips Electro. And finally, for your vote, we have Face Customs Monet Sync Crew. Yeah, wow. The, uh, this was hard week. There were so many cool customs. Thank you so much for joining again. Share with share with as many people, especially you being showcase players. Show it with your fan base. Let them know that this week in customs exists, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.